குருஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை தி போர்ட் ஆஃப் டைரக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோகஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ்அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus kurinji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg to 12 contact 9025895176 metric 6212 contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurinjischoolnkl.in in continuation to the last class in this class we start with uh, additional exercise problems now so the first problem here in this class is 11th right so first we'll go through the question and then we'll go for solution see here the 6563 angstrom unit h alpha line it is what uh, wavelength 6563 angstrom unit h alpha line emitted by hydrogen emitted by hydrogen in a star is found to be is found to be red shifted is found to be red shifted by 15 angstrom unit that is what uh, 15 angstrom unit full stop estimate the speed with which the star is receding from the earth estimate the speed estimate the speed with which the star is receding from the earth you know here the problem is related to the system that is what earth and star earth and star right here what he is saying first they have given the wavelength of h alpha line emitted by hydrogen in a star you know in case of star uh, nuclear fusion reactions takes place the hydrogen right the present the hydrogen combine and forms the deuter- deuteron and then helium right and they again again hydrogen and releasing certain amount of energy that energy we are getting in the form of light and heat right so this is all because sun is also a star no that's why right so this is the information already we have in our mind and uh, moreover you know where is the where is the earth and where is the star you take sun as an example no problem right and uh, where is the sun because sun is also star no that's why and how the earth is moving around the sun right and how we are getting uh, light and uh, heat right and how can we see that uh, star and what is the size of the star when compared to the size of the earth right and uh, what happens inside the star i already told you that is what uh, nuclear fusion reactions right so these are all we have to keep in mind uh, while attempting this problem with that data with that information we are very comfortable with the solution okay right so the wavelength of h alpha line emitted by hydrogen in a star is 6563 angstrom unit is uh, to be red shifted by 15 angstrom unit red shifted by 15 angstrom unit okay that is what uh, difference in wavelength that is what delta lambda delta lambda is equal to 15 angstrom unit delta lambda is equal to 15 angstrom unit and you know lambda is equal to i already told you ma 6563 angstrom units okay right here to find that to find that new that is what uh, new by c here the formula if you observe carefully delta lambda is equal to minus nu by c minus nu by c into lambda right here it is what uh, velocity it is what velocity or speed right don't think that it is frequency so most of the times we are using that is what uh, uh, small v for velocity and the nu is a symbol is a notation nu for frequency right but uh, both are appearing uh, similar that's why you don't confuse ma 
here it is what the nu is the symbol or notation for speed this is also speed it is what the, you know speed of light speed of light in vacuum or air that is what 3 into 10 to the power of 8 uh, meter per second and this we are going to find that, that only he is asking estimate the speed with which the star is receding from the earth receding from the earth okay right it is what you know delta lambda by lambda means almost it is the ratio of wavelength this side is the ratio of speed it is possible no because the speed is equal to nu into lambda c is equal to nu into lambda whatever it may be the speed whatever it may be the medium the relation between speed frequency and wavelength is c is equal to nu into lambda right from that relation you can write delta lambda is equal to minus v by c into lambda so you write v as a subject then nu sorry sorry v v is equal to minus delta lambda by lambda into c right so here is equal to minus 15 so just we are substituting the values there the, what they have given so here these two are available in uh, angstrom unit so and we both have in the formula or relation so that angstrom unit and angstrom unit will get cancelled so for us no objection to write or to submit directly with angstrom unit as a unit that is what uh, minus 15 minus 15 by 6563 angstrom unit it is angstrom unit it is also angstrom units okay so these two will get cancelled into 3 into 10 to the power of 8 3 into 10 to the power of 8 right so if you do this calculation this is what uh, mathematical calculation you will get it as minus 6.86 minus 6.86 into 10 to the power of 5 minus 6.86 into 10 to the power of 5 meter per second meter per second right okay but here we got negative sign so what is the importance of negative sign what is the importance of negative sign right so here the importance of negative sign is the star is receding away from the earth you know the star is receding away away and towards you know both are like opposite sense no that's why here why negative means it is receding away from the earth it is receding away from the earth okay so that's what uh, he is asking and we found we found uh, that is what the speed along with the sign right the sign tells us the star is receding away from the earth star is receding away from the earth okay that's what uh, we know next uh, problem problem number 12 see here first uh, i'll read the problem then i'll go for solution see here explain how newton's kirchner theory predicts that the speed of light in a medium say water is greater than the speed of light in vacuum so this is the statement given by newton's kirchner theory of light this is not my my statement and this is not the statement from anywhere it is the statement given by newton you know if you see that book uh, newtonian optics newtonian optics there uh, newtons gave a lot of information about the lights okay out of those out of those this is the one of the important uh, statement or sentence that is what uh, uh, speed of light in a medium say water is greater than the speed of light in vacuum you know either vacuum or air suppose even though you take air air uh, treated as optically rarer medium when compared to the optically denser medium water so when you compare water and air air is optically rarer medium water is optically denser medium right we are not considering this is not assumption it is a fact it is a fact based on the definition of optical density of a medium right uh, you know the air is optically rarer medium and water is optically denser medium comparison if you compare these two these two media so here according to newton's kirchner theory the statement is speed of light in a medium is greater than the speed of light in vacuum right the question is is the prediction confirmed by the experimental determination of the speed of light in water if not which alternative picture of light is consistent with the experiment if not which alternative picture of light is consistent with the experiment 
So, this is the statement given by Newton. He is asking, so if you compare this statement with uh, experimental determination of speed of light in water, is the prediction is confirmed? At the same time, if not, so if yes sir, no. So, if not, if yes means no problem, if not, which alternative picture of light is consistent with the experiment that he is asking, right? Okay. Now, see the solution ma, here. So, first, uh, I'm, I used to say every time, try to understand the question clearly. Try to imagine the situation what they have given in the question and try to visualize, right? Try to visualize yourself, what's happening there, right? When I'm talking about Newton's curvature theory, so what is the nature of light according to Newton's curvature theory? At the same time, when I'm talking about, that is what, uh, speed of light in a medium and speed of light in vacuum, right? So, in these two cases also, so what is light, what is speed, right, what is medium, how the light is propagating, this and all one by one you have to get into your mind. Then uh, th there is no gap from sentence to sentence and your imagination, your visualization will be almost all 99.9%, 100% perfect, okay. The type of imagination I need before going to explain solution in your mind, I am expecting the type of imagination or visualization in your mind when I am going to start to explain regarding this question. See here, in Newton's curvature theory, that is what uh, in Newton's curvature picture of refraction, refraction, particles of light, you know this type of situation we come across in refraction, right? So, the refraction means what? The phenomenon in which a light ray bends at the point of separation of both the media when it propagates from one optical media to another optical to another optical medium okay that's what i want that's what i want okay so this is the situation what they have given in the question we come across in a refraction okay right so in newton's curvature picture of refraction Particles of light incident from a rarer medium to a denser medium experience a force of attraction normal to the surface, right? So, he is explaining from Newton's picture of light, right? So, you please be concentrate and try to understand what he is saying. See this. So, according to Newton's picture of refraction, particles of light incident from a rarer to a denser medium. Incident from a rarer to a denser medium, rarer to a denser medium experience a force of attraction normal to the surface, experience now experience a force of attraction normal to the surface, right. When these things are experiencing a force, see you know suppose for example it is that what uh, a medium the surface which separates both the medium and it is the normal it is the normal and the particles right the particles of light incident from a the particles of light incident from a rarer to a denser medium experience a force of attraction experience a force of attraction normal to the surface it is the surface no so this is the normal no so like this like this the particles experience a force right this results in an increase in the normal component of velocity. This results, that is what, uh, uh, whatever the thing we discussed, that is what uh, experiencing of a force of attraction normal to the surface by a particles of light, a particles of light increase in the normal component of velocity, increase in the normal component of velocity but the component along the surface remains unchanged, right? You know, it is the velocity, Emma. it is the velocity and the, the, that experiencing of, that experiencing of force of attraction by the particles normal to the surface, normal to the surface increase in the normal component of velocity, increase the normal component of velocity, but the horizontal component that is what uh, component along the surface remains unchanged, remains unchanged, okay, right. Next, consider a ray of light going from a rarer medium to a denser medium, consider 
a ray of light going from a rarer medium to a denser medium see here it is what uh, water and air right it is a ray of light and it is what denser medium it is what rarer medium when it is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium okay see here so it is what what he is saying you know here c is the speed of light c is the speed of light and uh, c is the speed of light in vacuum or air c is the speed of light in vacuum or air c is the speed of light in vacuum or air v is the speed of light in water v is the speed of light in water and i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of refraction okay i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of refraction c is the speed of light in vacuum or air v is the speed of light in water i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of refraction okay so you can see all the things here this is this is what the c and it is i you know this is what the c sin i c sin i when this is i this is also i ma this will become as c cos i and this is c sin i and it is or you know when this is or this is also or it is what v cos or and it is what v sin or v cos or here it will become and it is what v sin or you know from here that is what according to newton's corpuscular theory according to newton's corpuscular theory so what can we what can we write here the condition that is what v see here component of velocity component of velocity c component of velocity c is equal to component of velocity c is equal to component of velocity v along the surface of separation component of velocity c is equal to component of velocity c is equal to component of velocity v along the surface of separation component of velocity v along the surface of separation okay right and therefore from this statement you can write from this uh, that is what relation or equation you can write you know c sin i is equal to v sin r sin i is equal to v sin r when c sin i is equal to v sin r you can write the v by c is equal to sin i by sin r v by c is equal just taking the c to this side and sin r to this side then v by c is equal to sin i by sin r that is equal to a mu w a mu w right as a mu w is greater than 1 as a mu w is greater than 1 therefore v is greater than c you know just mathematically think of ma when this value is greater than 1 for example you assume as 2 2 is greater than 1 no right when it is 2 then what about uh, v is equal to 2c no when v is equal to 2c then uh, i can write v is greater than c no you can write v is greater than c what is v speed of light in water what is c speed of light in vacuum or air speed of light in vacuum or air so what does it mean this is the information we are getting this is the information we are getting from where we are getting this is the information this is the information we are getting from newton's corpuscular theory that is what a newton's picture of refraction okay newton's picture of lights regarding the refraction right finally we proved that that is what a density of uh, sorry speed of light in water that is what denser medium is greater than speed of light in rarer medium that is air or vacuum air or vacuum okay see that thus thus so from this newton's corpuscular theory predicts that light should travel faster in water than in air from this newton's corpuscular theory predicts that light should travel faster in water than in air full stop so what about this this prediction is this prediction is opposite to the experimental result so what is the experimental result experiment experimental result is opposite to this that is what v is less than c you know you know when you are going to see that uh, for example so many applications are available here ma you know for example what is apparent depth 
what is actual depth right and you know in case of that is what uh, uh, okay so whatever it may be you can take many examples right so in case of mirages so whatever it may be we proved that experimentally we got it v is less than c but according to newton's cup's law theory we are getting v is greater than c v is greater than c okay so what i am saying is here you know this uh, prediction of this prediction is opposite to the experimental result v is less than c and the prediction of huygens wave theory is consistent with the experimental results right so here he asked one question last if not which alternative picture of light is consistent with the experiment yes the answer is huygens wave theory of lights huygens wave theory of lights okay next so now we are going to see the next problem that is what uh, 13th one first uh, look at the problem and listen carefully we have learnt in the text how huygens principle leads to the loss of reflection and refraction full stop use the same principle to deduce directly that a point object placed in front of a plane mirror produces a virtual image whose distance from the mirror is equal to the object distance from the mirror right so here as simple as such he is asking to prove that distance of the object from the mirror is equal to distance of the image from the mirror that is what virtual image which is formed in case of plane mirror the same thing we already come across in case of ray optics as a uh, that is what the ray picture of light but here he is asking wave picture of light so by taking wave picture of light asking to prove asking to show that is what uh, a point object placed in front of a plane mirror produces a virtual image whose distance from the mirror whose distance from the mirror is equal to the object distance from the mirror object distance from the mirror that he is asking to prove okay right see here first of all with the point object a as the center so this is what point object a ma draw a circular arc that is what w p w this is what circular arc right you know when this w p w that is what circular arc just touching the mirror this is the mirror right just touching the mirror at p so at this point at this point the circular arc is going to touch the mirror full stop then then w p w represents the section of the spherical wave felt then w p w represents the section of the spherical wave front that has just reached the mirror w p w represents the section of the spherical wave front that has just reached the mirror right okay full stop according to huygens principle according to huygens principle every point on this wave front according to huygens principle this is what according to huygens principle every point on this wave front every point on this wave front is a source of secondary wavelets that's you know that is from the statement of uh, huygens wave theory you, you, you might have got it that is what uh, according to huygens principle every point on this wave front is a source of secondary wavelets see here during the time small t during the time small t in which the incident wave front travels from w to w dash the secondary wavelets from p must have spread over a distance that is what uh, p p dash is equal to w w dash p p dash is equal to p p double p p double dash is equal to w w dash this is what so in the time t it has to move from here to there it is what reflected wave if there is no mirror this is the incident wave that is w dash p dash w dash if there is no mirror this is the incident this is the incident spherical wave front that is what w dash p dash w dash if there is a mirror this is what reflected wave front that is what w dash p double dash w dash 
and it is the it is what the reflected wave front and this is the incident wave front that is what w p w okay so it's clear right already we had the same thing in case of ray picture of light but here the important thing is it is a wave picture of light uh, the, the thing is same what we did there here also we are we are doing the same but here the main thing is wave picture of light is the interesting thing okay so in that case we have to prove right see here similarly other disturbance from other points because wave is not only one point no so this is totally a wave front right so the di other disturbance from other points of the mirror reaches the various parts of the surface w dash p double dash w dash so this is what uh, as shown in the figure w dash p dash w dash is the reflected wave front is a reflected wave front right at instant t while w dash p w dash w dash p w dash is the reflected wave front uh, sorry is the position of incident wave front right so this is the position of incident wave front in the absence of mirror in the absence of mirror and this is what the reflected wave front reflected wave front okay is a reflected wave front so that is what i am saying ma so it is the incident wave front you know this is the also incident wave front when in the absence of mirror but this is the reflected wave front right you know all the things are going to concentrate here that is what it is the position of the image position of the image and you know in case of plane mirror we experience with a virtual image virtual image okay right so now i am going to give the conclusion we just to concentrate carefully as as w dash p double dash w dash and w dash p dash w dash are two symmetrically located see here or here or two symmetrically located arc arcs on either side of the mirror on either side of the mirror hence the center of the reflected wave front hence this is what reflected wave hence the center of the reflected wave front that is the virtual image b of the point object a the virtual image b of the point object a is at the same distance from the mirror is at the same distance from the mirror as the point object a so now you can say that the distance of point object a from the mirror a is equal to distance of the virtual image b from the mirror that is only he is asking to show or prove okay right so in this class we discussed about three exercise problems that is what additional exercise 11 12 and 13 so in first problem we estimated the speed with which the star is receding away receding from the x next uh, uh, we proved that the statement given by newton's kepler theory that is what uh, speed of light in denser medium is greater than the speed of light in rarer medium we proved as wrong but it is correct according to the that is what uh, it was corrected it was corrected because he is saying that uh, speed of light in denser medium is greater than the speed of light in rarer medium no so it was proved wrong and uh, it is correct according to the it is correct means what the uh, speed of light in denser medium is less than the speed of light in rarer medium this is experimentally correct and uh, huygens picture of uh, huygens idea regarding this statement is also correct and in the last problem in case of wave picture of light we proved that distance of the virtual image from a plane mirror is equal to distance of the object from the same plane mirror okay. in our next class we will continue with 14th problem thank you